The Chunglai Mountains take on quite distinct looks in four seasons, whose transition is often instant. The autumn breeze spreads the hues across the mountains. This season is a riot of colors. While the bamboo grove remains green, the surrounding arbors are laden with fruits. tree, a chipmunk darts back and forth. To fill its belly for the moment and store food for hibernation. It scans through the tree and finds its favorite snack. It sets the table and prepares to enjoy its meal. Then it decides to make a change. Look what it has found. These are berries hidden in the tree hollow. This is most likely someone else's winter storeroom. Perhaps out of guilt, it eats in a flurry. Another reason for the chipmunk's eagerness is the presence of potential food muggers. The thick branch doubles as the red panda's bed. The sluggish one wakes up at noon on an empty stomach. The red panda prefers to stay aloof from its peers and is called mountain slacker by local people. Compared to the red panda, the rowan twigs are obviously too thin. But only here can its taste buds be satiated. It gingerly perches on the branches and stretches to grab fruit. It chooses meticulously until it hangs upside down. It waddles around and eats its way across the branches. It changes positions frequently, as if cherry picking from a menu. Whether it prefers sourness or sweetness is unknown to humans. But with such low efficacy, it may take a day to eat its fill. The forest mist thickens. The red panda's exclusive dinner is about to be interrupted by some uninvited guests. The unreasonable bullies begin to clamor. Some Tibetan macaques have commandeered the fruit trees. 